Let's look in the vault. From the vault. Um, so I'm going to play two fast videos. It's ESP32 Pico and the Cutie Pie ESP32 S2, and then we're going to talk about some of the new stuff we got. Hey, Lady Data, what is this? Hey, I just got some samples of these new ESP32 Pico modules. I got a cut tape of 10 pieces. And what's interesting is um, I actually kind of didn't realize that these are not the same size as the ESP32 S2 modules. They're like kind of like significantly smaller, which is actually good news because I, like, you know, I was talking earlier a few weeks ago, I wanted to make an itsy bitsy ESP32 and this like will just fit right in between perfectly and not get in the way of the pads. It'll just have to put the silk screen on the bottom. Um, and then I just need a CP2102 and um, the power supply, but you know, even if I can't quite fit it here, I can put some parts on the bottom maybe. So I think an itsy bitsy ESP32 is in the cards and it'll have PS RAM because the Pico comes with two megabytes of PS RAM. So that's kind of cool. So cute. Hey lady, what is this? This is me testing out prototypes for a new Cutie Pie board. It looks a lot like the ESP32 S2 uh, Cutie Pie that we recently released, but this is the S3. It's a dual, co dual core Tensilica 240 megahertz processor with Wi-Fi and BLE, so it adds a second core and BLE compared to the S2. This is a really new chip, so support is still like very much in progress, um, but we do have the beginnings of CircuitPython with Wi-Fi working on it, including some peripherals. So this is um, me running the um, Wi-Fi demo, and um, thanks to Scott who fixed a couple of hard faults. I can connect to Wi-Fi, I can um, connect to you know GitHub and get the number of GitHub stars, so it's slowly coming up. Um, still a couple of things to work out, but um, this new very powerful Cutie Pie is going to be in the store soon. All right, and then you got a new feather. Yes, this is the new ESP32 feather. So it got like a huge redesign um, with that Pico board and now has two megabytes of PS RAM and um, I think eight megabytes of flash. I think that the Pico has like double-double. And um, also the USB serial converter can be a, a CP2102N or CP2104, add a stomach QT connector, USB-C. It's just like a big re rerun, you know, because I kind of cleaned up everything and, and redid a bunch. Um, added an extra user button because there was an extra like single pin. A few, a few GPIO had to get shuffled because the Pico doesn't expose every pad, but I think it's worth it. So I'm going to call this a V2. It's a new product, but I think, you know, people should upgrade. It'll probably have a lot more functionality. Um, and uh, more power supply options and more memory, of course. Uh, I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. And next up, this is a preview. We have pink JST connectors. Yes, I have to actually try them out. But uh, next time I build a board with JST yeah. connectors, I haven't had We're going to have pink that. boards with pink JST connectors. We're going to uh, black boards with pink JST connectors. We're going to see which looks best. We're going to mm. try them out, and then we're just going to start doing it. Yeah. And that's top secret. <laughs>